We still don't know the origins of the pandemic more than one year after the first COVID case was, was diagnosed in our country. Still more questions than ever. Now a Chinese defector is revealing to reporter Shari Markson what he warned American officials about in 2019 about the virus and what was really happening in Wuhan. Did you have any sense that the intelligence agencies in the United States in November 2019 were taking this seriously? that there may be a virus spreading in Wuhan. I felt they were not as concerned as I was, so I tried my best to provide more detail and information. They may not believe a government of a country would do something like that. So I kept repeating myself. In an effort, I tried to persuade them. Wei, which politicians did you tell about the new coronavirus in Wuhan? Great question. Sherry Markson is the author of What Really Happened in Wuhan, Wuhan and investigations reporter at The Australian. She joins us right now from Australia. Sherry, good morning to you. Good after, Good evening, good actually, out there. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's late at night here. Look, this is a really fascinating thing that's emerged because it wasn't just Chinese defector Wei who was telling, desperately trying to tell the American intelligence agencies that there was a problem. You know about the intelligence that said the Wuhan Institute of Virology workers fell sick mm -hmm. with COVID-like symptoms. That was discovered by Pompeo's team in the State Department in late 2020. But in fact, that, that intelligence also came into the possession of the United States government an entire year earlier in late 2019. So at that point in time, when no one in the world knew that there was a new coronavirus that was about to cause a global pandemic, the US intelligence agencies had two crucial pieces of information that they should have acted on. Mm -hmm. And serious questions need to be asked about what the intelligence agencies are doing if they're being given this credible intelligence, these serious warnings from highly credible Chinese defectors, and they're not acting on it. Well, we found out that the first case in China was, I believe, December of 2019. But you're finding people were reporting it spreading in Wuhan much earlier. When are they saying that it started spreading? Absolutely. And I've looked very closely at this question uh, as part of the investigation for my book. And in my view, based on my entire investigation, people I've interviewed, both Chinese whistleblowers on the ground and also intelligence sources, the virus, I think, broke out in September, at, wow. at least. Some people in the documentary, and you'll see that see it when you watch it on Fox Nation on, on Tuesday, some people suggest it could have even been earlier than that, what, what on the record. What makes you think that? But, in my view, it's September, because there was the virus database was taken offline in yeah. September 2019, there were other things that started happening, unusual activity at the Wuhan Institute of Virology from that time frame, mm -hmm. which we detail. Then in October, there was a blackout at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which is consistent with everyone in there being kicked out so that there could be a mass sterilization. And by November, and I detail this very clearly in the book, the virus was spreading throughout the community in Wuhan. There's testimony from doctors mm. who were dealing with a lot of cases, 23 cases a day by November in Wuhan. So really October was the time frame when it started to spread and at least September was when the incident occurred. All right, so next week on Fox Nation, uh, your documentary comes out, uh, and then your brand new, it's all based on your brand new book, What Really Happened in Wuhan. Uh, Shari Markson, thanks so much. Go, so go to Fox Nation and pick up a copy uh, and find out some Thank original interviews. Thank you so interviews. much for your support. One-hour documentary. She interviewed a lot of people in the intelligence community and interviewed Donald Trump, and she has some uh, shocking information that she says will come out on Tuesday. Thank you, Shari, and good evening to you.